Hi, this is Jeff from Virginia, and I'm enjoying Trucker Josh Boggs. What a beautiful day. It's, a good, it's gonna be a good day. Just getting going here, just trying to get my bearings. Just woke up, figure out where I am. We're up here in Alberta, north of Edmonton. Gonna get rid of that today and put some other stuff on it. There's a reload already waiting for me in a town called Edson, Alberta. So as soon as I get this unloaded, I gotta race over there. I gotta call them first though. Gotta call them first. I got a note, a special note on this. Is call them and make a, a loading appointment. Before 3 p.m., but they'll load me till 7. So I should get reloaded today yet, unless if something goes wrong. Knock on wood. Should get loaded today, and we'll be headed back. The load I'm picking up looks like it's headed to Iowa. I'll have to check to see if I'm going to take it right through or not. I'm guessing it probably has got to be there on Monday. I wouldn't be able to be there on Monday because I'm going home for the weekend. We have the open house on Saturday. I won't make it for the Friday, but I'm going to be there on Saturday. And then Sunday is Father's Day. And we have a family get-together. And then I'm ready to go Monday morning. So I'd be able to be in Iowa Tuesday? That's all to find out. Good morning to you. Good morning. I'm glad you're here. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. You know all the YouTubers tell you to do the same thing. I'm no different. All kinds of buttons in the description for you to click. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok. I don't use Snapchat. And I don't use TikTok that much. I don't make much on TikTok. I, I watch a lot of TikTok. <laughs> Diesel. How is that bunch of grass smelling right there? That, that looked like a good one. That looked like a good one. Oh, that, that, that is a good one. That is a good one. That's a good bunch of grass right there. That smells good. I see why you like it. There she was. Sitting there looking all pretty. That load took four hours to tie down. It was a big pain in the butt. It's got a lot of little tin pieces on it. And they bend easily so you gotta be very careful not to bend it and like, like i was saying this little back part here they wanted tarped which is fine it's fine i tarped it and the rest of it it's just very light i was, I was explaining this yesterday right very light tin so you want to tie it down not too tight because you don't want to bend it or damage it but you want to tie it down tight enough so that it doesn't go flying off your trailer into traffic behind you it's like this fine line you got to find it and, and i i found it I didn't lose anything and I didn't bend anything, as far as I know. <laughs> Under this tarp here is very sharp steel. And I'm very glad that the seller who sold me Old Blue, uh, he also gave me a whole bunch of corners and corner protectors and stuff that I could use under my tarps here to make sure that the tarps don't get ripped by the, by the steel. So that came in very handy on this trip. Now look at this, eh? Just a mess, but we got it here. I got uh, just a little ways to go yet. Not gonna lie, uh, that took a long time. It was fun though, this is what I do, right? I can't complain about tying it down, this is what I do. I'm a professional driver, this is my profession. I always say I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist. No, I'm a truck driver. This is what I do. Some people perform open heart surgery. I do that. And I get it across the country. Just gonna quickly walk over to this side, see if I can get myself a nice screenshot. All right, how about right about here, I'm thinking. I'm thinking right about here, one sec. Let me, let me get you turned around. Okay. Diesel, you wanna be in my screenshot? How about it? Here, let's take this off of you. One second. One second, you don't need this. No trucks around here, is there? No. Okay, Diesel, here's what I need you to do. Can you come right over here? Can you turn around and face me? Okay, can you sit? Okay, give me your best face, okay? We're gonna get a thumbnail for the, for the video. Can you stay? Okay, look very happy. 
look very look or look tough. Do do something. Okay, I'm gonna go right here. Right there, that is a beautiful thumbnail. I'll leave room at the top there so I can put some text up there. Hey Diesel. Diesel, look this way. Cows? No? That usually gets his ears to perk up. You a good boy? Should we go reload today and then go home? You hungry? All of his favorite words. He's just like, I am not impressed. I, I want to sleep longer. I'm not ready to start the day. Okay, well, somewhere in there is going to be a nice screenshot for you. And that'll be the thumbnail. Good boy, Diesel. Good boy, man. That used to, that used to be a lot harder. You used to fight me a lot more. All right, you ready? Wait, wait, let me open the door first. Okay? Oh, oh, okay. I'm ready to go home. Let's go. It's in a rush. <laughs> We're gonna deliver some freight, shall we? Well, I gotta find a garbage for that, yeah. No garbage around here. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. I don't know, he wants to go trucking. He wants to go trucking. Put his steps away first. Truck got so dirty on this trip. Look at this. Look at this here. The shine. I'm gonna have to polish those. All right. Don't forget my hat. I got you on my head. Can't have my hat and you, otherwise, that's your view. There we go. Now you see what I see. <laughs> Come on, let's slow her down. Oh, one lane bridge. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. Nobody coming, but we gotta wait for the red light. That looks like a temporary bridge. Or is it always just one lane? Like it looks like it was built as a one lane. This has been a really long red light. <laughs> oh, finally, green. All you had to do is complain about it a little bit, and there you go. See, that's why I complain so much, because things get done then. Okay, it is a two lane bridge, it's just narrow. And they're fixing half of it. Guy's very nervous. He doesn't know how wide his vehicle is. GPS signal lost. Oh, quiet, Karen. Beautiful. Wow. Huh. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure, I haven't seen views like this in a while. Okay there, Mr. Tourist, you can give her now. Been following him for a while. He's gonna give her now because there's a passing lane, but as soon as it's a two lane highway again and there's no passing lane, he's gonna slow right down. He's one of those. Unless I absolutely have to, but every now and then, yeah, it's good for a diesel engine to pull. That's what they're designed to do. You want them to pull hard every now and then, but just not 24-7, you know, not all the time. You know, some might say that it's better for an engine to be pulling hard up a hill than to be idling in a parking lot. That's 
why I say our hearts are always like a diesel engine. Diesel engines aren't meant to idle. Neither are our hearts. That's why we gotta exercise, right? Same thing with a diesel motor. You gotta exercise it or it gets all uh, gunked up. Starts having issues. Doesn't last as long. like nothing happened. <laughs> Just a random valley. Well, the first delivery is done. Can you tell? <laughs> it's Just laying in the grass over there. It's just one piece. Just gonna quickly uh, make sure all my straps are tight. We just gotta go about 45 minutes down the road. And then... Uh, deliver the rest of this and then I have to rush down to Edson probably get loaded tomorrow morning because I don't think I'm gonna make it there today yet really nice guy here came out and met me we just hand bombed it off lights on he said I can get around the back here Oh yeah, lots of room. Lots of room. Nice side-by-side -side over there, eh? I'd love to have one of those. Nice cab and everything on it. Wow. Britt and I were thinking of getting a side-by-side -side one day. Probably when we uh, move and when we build our house. Western Star right here, eh? I was looking at a couple Western Stars when I was looking for trucks. They're actually pretty good trucks. They have a little bit of a rougher ride though in my experience. I don't know if they're all like that, but the ones I've driven have a sort of ride like a tank. They're kind of all designed for uh, heavy duty, heavy duty work. But maybe that, that was just the trucks I was driving too, you know? In 200 meters, turn right onto Alberta 740 South. That's the plan. Got my GPS here hooked up to uh, the radio. What do you think, Diesel? The guy here had a dog. We didn't have time to let you play with him, but that was a young pup. Looked like, uh, like a nine month old, I think he said. Nine month old, something like a German Shepherd Cross or something. Beautiful piece of land here though. And this is pretty far up Take north. Next right onto Alberta 740 South. Like, I wish Northern Manitoba was more like this. Northern Alberta is nice. I'd live here. There's a lot of the same uh, culture groups that settled this area, that settled my area. The Germans and the Dutch, the Mennonites. They settled uh, southeastern and southern Manitoba, southwestern Saskatchewan, and uh, northeastern or northwestern Alberta. So I recognize a lot of the last names out here. <laughs> Continue on Alberta 740 south for 42 kilometers. Everyone here sort of has the same background as me. Maybe that's why I like it so much. Feel at home here. Off we go. One more delivery. One more. And then my reload, they only ship or they only load until 7 p.m. and I don't think I can make it there by seven. Uh, we'll see what I can do. I'll probably end up loading at like 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. I was really kind of hoping to get a, a head start today so that I could maybe even get there for some of that open house tomorrow at work. <coughs> but either way, at least I'll be there for the open house on Saturday. I hope you guys saw my post on social media already. I'm not gonna be there at the open house tomorrow. But I will be there on Saturday. He 
you see in the mirror. Almost finished unloading. There was a lot, as you saw, to take off this trailer, and they gotta take it off one little bundle at a time, make sure they don't damage it. So far, I think everything's been good. They haven't come to talk to me about anything, which means everything should have arrived a-okay. That was kind of funny, just as I was saying that, oh, they haven't come to talk to me. I guess everything's all good. Right as I said that, he came up to the window and asked me to move. I just had to uh, move up. Uh, they're trying to get off really long pieces right now and uh, set them on the ground so they lift them off the trailer i drive forward then they set them down and then the next one they want in a different area of the yard so i had to come around over here park over here by these bins over here so they... almost done almost done and off we go empty flatbed behind us we're gonna put some lumber on it tomorrow morning Oh boy, I can just feel it immediately. <laughs> Before I could sort of tell something was behind me, weighing me down. Now, it feels like I'm bobtailing. Lots of nice equipment here though. This is a really well off farm by the looks of it. Very nice. Nice yard, well taken care of. I like these people. Okay, so we're gonna go and try to find a parking spot at the Petro Pass in Edson, Alberta. There's only about 10 spots there, so we'll see. We'll see what happens when we get there. Gonna stop for fuel on the way as well. That'll probably be at a Flying J, probably in White Court, is what I'm thinking. Let's go. Europe and see how the farms there operate. You know, all the farmers here, they came from there originally, but the farms here, from what I've heard, are way bigger. Way bigger out here in North America. And I sort of grew up in the farming community. You know, Southeast Manitoba and on the prairies, it's, there's a lot of farmers here. It's the breadbasket of Canada. I'd love to see how the old world does it. Like, how do they manage with their farms? And how do they get their farm equipment around? Like, with all the, with all the narrow roads and stuff, they can't have that big of equipment. Very interesting to see. in Alberta, getting close to the border with British Columbia. Not right next door, but closer to it. The Rocky Mountains are a little ways over there. We might be able to see them tomorrow if it's a clear day. This is a one-way street going this way. The other direction is just a block over that way. Petro Pass that we're going to is all the way on the other end of town. As you can see on the GPS there on the right. This guy on my left here, is, he doesn't want to pass me. I think he's a little embarrassed. He turned onto the road like this and royally cut me off. And then he quickly, quickly got into the left lane there so that I could get past him. But 
royally cut me off. Now I don't think he wants to come up beside me because he's a little ashamed of his behavior, maybe? Oh, I probably doesn't care. What am I, who am I kidding? Nobody cares. <laughs> but he did cut me off really bad. I almost hit a moose before too. The moose cut me off. Seriously, I saw him running into the ditch, got onto my lane and just sat there. Oh, there you go, there he goes, see? Can't stay behind me forever, bud. And that is not how you tie down rolls. Oh my, you just put straps over the top? Ay. Well, well, that's not the way I would do it, but. Petro Pass, where are you? Petro Pass, Petro Pass. Oh, this is a very long town. It's a very long town. I haven't been here in so long. My shipper that I'm picking up at at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning is just down the road there. Anyway, it's gonna be lumber, wood, some sorts of wood. I don't even, I don't know if I need to tarp it or not, but I know that it's going to Iowa. Osakella, Iowa? I don't think I'm taking it all the way through. I might, but uh, the load's taking me home for now. Okay, what do you guys think? Is there gonna be a spot there for me? I've never paid attention to this as I've driven past here in the past. I didn't even know that there, there was truck parking here. But yeah, just ahead, I know with the fisheye lens, you probably can't see. There's a Ford dealership there. No, just ignore that, there's a Ford dealer. After that, there's a red sign, that's Petro Pass. And we need to see there's gonna be parking there for us. Or if it will be full. Well, I guess I could always park down there on the street if I have to. Looks like some other guys are parking down there. Okay, that's the backup, down there. You see there's another guy parked over there? Okay, let's see. Approaching destination in 200 meters. What? No way. Look at it, it's almost empty. Why? That's suspicious. Are we not allowed to park here overnight? Why would it be almost empty? Most guys are parking down there on the street. I might go park down there because if nobody's parked up here, that is suspicious. You have arrived at your destination, 6334 Avenue. That says parking, right? Whoops. Do you have to pay to park? Or... Doesn't say pay to park. Why has nobody parked here then? Parking, this guy's parked here. I'm gonna turn around and go back into that spot right there. So weird that no one comes to park here. Wouldn't you be suspicious of that? Nice, beautiful parking like this, and nobody's taking advantage of it? How am I gonna turn around? <laughs> I don't wanna jackknife it that hard. Maybe I'll park on this side. Is this guy idling? No, he's got his truck shut off. Maybe I'll park on, no, no, can't park there. You know, that guy parked in there. Okay, well. Huh. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna figure this out. I'm making this way too complicated on myself. We're gonna go around again. Why is nobody parked here? I could just nose in, I guess, but I don't really want to nose in. See, I want to back in there, but there's not enough room for me to turn around here anywhere. You think this is enough room here? I think I can do it, I'm gonna give it a shot. I mean, I think I can do it. Why is that cement thing there? That, that's what's messing with me, you know? I'm gonna try. Give me 40 acres and I'll turn this rig around. Unless if it's a small petrol pass lot. Then I'll crank it hard and I'll turn around on a dime. That was a lot easier than I thought. 
Look at that, no problem. What was I worried about? Ah, I am cranking it pretty hard. See, I don't want the trailer to hit my side fairing there. There we go, okay. I'm gonna bag inside this guy and then figure out why no one's parked here. Cause I don't wanna knock on my door first thing in the morning. Excuse me, you're not supposed to park here. Have you paid your fare? Have you paid to park here? No! What do I look like? Do I look like someone who will pay for parking? No, I don't. I don't pay to park. Not that there's anything wrong with paying to park, I'm just saying. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? I want to go against those cement barriers over there. That way I can uh, let Diesel out to walk and I can use his steps right there, you know what I mean? Or I'll leave space for one more truck to park in here if they want to. Hopefully nobody does. All right, Diesel, I'm going to go and inspect my parking job, okay? You wait here. This is serious, serious business. You can't park for night without being straight. And if it's on pavement, in the lines. And out of everyone else's way. There's no lines here, so let's just make sure we're out of everyone else's way and taking up as little space as possible. Oh. oh. Yeah, another trailer could fit in there, eh? Huh. Why, why am I not straight compared to that guy? All right, well. Something's going on over there. There's like no parking here. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to park here. If you don't want me parking here, maybe you shouldn't put up a big giant sign that says parking. Here, I can sleep. Look at all the space I have back here, though. I'm going to move back a little bit further. I don't know why I've got so much space back here. That's a... So look at this. You can see how his nose is further away than his trailer. He's crooked. It's not me. I'm straight. I'm a straight parker. Straight, straight, straight. Straight as can be. Parked it straight. What do you think? Is it straight enough? <laughs> <laughs> 